Hello everyone, you are on the travel channel, subscribe and do not miss new releases, also put likes so that others can see this video. Enjoy your viewing. Today, in our brief review, the small and cozy city of Como, located at the base of the left branch of the well-known Lake Como of the same name. We will start our tour with the magnificent Villa Olma, from which begins a long picturesque embankment passing through the entire historical central part of the city. Walking around, you can meet the local fauna basking in the sun. Beautifully manicured flower beds, green hedges and sprawling shady trees come across the eye, which makes you distract yourself from the worldly bustle and give yourself the pleasures of contemplation and sensation. Along the way, there are examples of beautiful architecture. Despite the fact that it is a lake, its size, color and waves give a complete feeling of being at a seaside resort. Moving towards the center, we pass by the docks where the seaplanes are located, which are actively used here for tourist purposes. Behind the docks there is a memorial in memory of the fallen in the First World War. There is also a local football stadium. Swans live here all the time, they can be found here in any season. Next is the central park with playgrounds, cafes and a boarding station for local motor ships. First we will walk along the entire embankment to the end, and then we will proceed to the center of the old town. In good weather, as I managed to catch the whole city is full of citizens and tourists strolling and enjoying the beautiful view of the bay. Further along the embankment there is a local grand hotel with a pond and a fountain. Let's move on. Here begins an alley of restaurants that go one after the other up to the building of the local funicular, by the way, also a remarkable place to visit, I'll do an overview sometime. Further, at the end of the embankment, a fountain is installed, beating a strong jet into the sky. The wind picks up his streams and takes him straight into the lake, very fascinating in person. Now we return to the central square from where we go deep into the old center to the cathedral.
The Cathedral of Santa Maria Assunta, built in the 17th century, looks very majestic, elegantly decorated with carved figures of people and architectural forms. Its interior is also well preserved with luxurious tapestries, art objects and frescoes. Then we go through the local streets. Along the way, there are many shops, boutiques, restaurants, caffeine and so beloved by Italians Galateria, a place where ice cream is sold. You can walk around the town for 30 to 40 minutes at a calm pace, enjoy the architecture and luxury of the old centuries. Finally, I recommend having dinner at one of the local restaurants. That's all I have, I wish you a pleasant journey, I hope my notes will help you, subscribe, like and wait for new releases.